In this video, we show you how easy it is to add an email account to your Mac OS mail program coming up. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Like I said, today we're gonna to go through and I'm gonna show you how to add an email account, specifically Gmail in this demonstration, to the Mac mail program. So let's head on over to the computer and take a look. So the first thing that we're gonna do on to do is go ahead and open up the Mac mail program. And in this case, if you don't have it down on here on your dock, you're gonna to want to go up to the little magnifying glass and you're gonna to want to search mail. Once you do that, you're gonna see a little hawk come up with a little stamp. You're gonna to want to click on that. That is gonna be the mail program that we are going to be doing today. As soon as the Mac mail program opens, up it's going to ask you to choose a mail account provider if you've already set one up chances are you're not going to see this message but if it's the first time you are setting it up which is most likely probably why you're here watching this video is because you're gonna to have to choose your account provider and you're setting up an email for the first time so in today's demonstration we are going to select Google and then I'm going to click on continue now with this it says Google requires completion authentication in Safari this may vary just depending on your email provider in this case I'm going to click on open Safari since we have to authenticate it with Google. It's gonna automatically open up a browser and we can type in the email that we are trying to add. And once you've got that in there, go ahead and click on next. And then if you have your password, which you will need for this, go ahead and type that in as well. Now, once you've got that taken care of, it says Mac OS wants to access your Google account. This gives Mac OS the authentication with Google to go through and use the Google account, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna scroll to the bottom and we are gonna click on allow. Once you've got that added, it's going to take you back to the mail program where it's gonna say, hey, what do you want to use with this account and it will give you the option to select mail, contact, calendars, and notes. You can check all of them. In today's demonstration, I'm just going to select mail and then click done. After you've done that, it should automatically go and retrieve the emails that you currently have in your inbox. If for whatever reason you've given it probably about a minute or so, a minute and a half, and you don't see anything happening, just come up to the little mail icon right up here and say get mail, click it, and it's going to do a force retrieval and start downloading the emails. Now, if it doesn't, then there's probably an issue with the authentication and you may want to repeat the steps and, and try again. So once you've got your email added, we're gonna go through and just show you the basic functions or the basic controls of this actual program. So if you see earlier, we did the get mail, which is if you're not receiving your email, then you can click on this to kind of do a force retrieval, but immediately to the right is new message. If you click on that, it's gonna bring up a composed message where of course you can type in your two, your, your CC, if you have somebody else that you want a carbon copy, you've got your email or you've got your subject, and then of course the body of the email. And if you click the A over here, that'll bring up any type of like text editing where you can do different fonts or different sizes, different colors, etc as well as you can add attachments or add a photo from here add some emojis so your basic controls are all right there if you decide that you're going through this email and you no longer need it you can come up click on the X and it's gonna ask if you want to save this message as a draft you can click save cancel or don't save I'm gonna click cancel just to show you one other option here when it does open that window you can actually move this from side to side allowing you to give yourself more space to write that email or to see the inboxes or the emails that you have currently in in your in your inbox and it's going to remove that draft as an or that email as a draft. So also, if you go over here on the left-hand side, you've got all of your different types of mailboxes. If you wanna add one, you can just hover over the mailboxes and then click add. It's gonna ask you what type of new mailbox you wanna create it. So if you have, you know, different like administrative or different uh, emails from a specific individual that you would like to organize, you can create a mailbox for that. Uh, if you wanna go through and add another email address, now that you've already got one in here, you can come up to the very top, go to the very top where it says mail, click on mail, and then you can click add an account. And it's gonna bring up that window that we saw a little bit earlier earlier today where you can go in and choose a mail account provider. Another thing is, is if you click on an email, of course, on the right hand side where it says no message selected, once you've clicked on that email, it's going to give you a preview of the email. So if we go ahead and find one here, or click on that, it's gonna give us a preview of the email itself. And then we do have the option to come up and do an archive, delete, junk. You can reply to it. You can reply to reply all, or you can click on move to, and then you can move it either to a different account or you can move it to a different inbox trash. You can have, you can see the options right over here. So that's just like a quick rundown of how to add and use the functionality of the Mac mail program on Mac OS. If you liked the video and you found it informative, give it a like and a share, and be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. I will link a couple over here on the right hand side of your screen and be sure to click subscribe which you can do by clicking the subscribe button right here as well as enable the notification bell so you don't miss out on any type of future content and we will see you on the next one.